Butchers up for the free kick. Oh, and Niner came in there unchallenged and away from the line by two defenders. Mariner was so close with the header, it came back off Jim Platts. Tony McAndrew was on hand there to help. He was totally unmarked when he went in on the free kick, Paul Mariner. Two against two up front here, no cover on. Mariner's flick. And there was uh, space for Brazil, and they're arriving. Oh, what a shot, first time by Brazil. I was about to say they're arriving from midfield, didn't have to. He hit it first time. And when you leave two defenders to mark Brazil and Mariner with no cover, that's the risk you run. The flick on from Mariner and the instant shot from Brazil. Gates looking for Muren. Well, Ipswich have hit the ball early within range of goal in this opening quarter of an hour. Coming in without hesitation. Set up by Eric Gates and struck by Arnold Muren. Muren into Gates. Pass the keeper and out by Baxter. Lovely, delicate move from the free kick. Muren chipped Gates in. Platt came. Pass the goalkeeper. Baxter covering well. Those two uh, Ipswich players combining so well from the free kick. Gates on the ball now. Oh, and Brazil did well to reach that. There's Walk! Oh, what a goal! John Walk, but Alan Brazil made it. Well, when that cross came in beyond the far post, how did Brazil hook it back from that unlikely angle? But he did, and his Scottish colleague, John Walk, Thumped it in first time. And now it's Eric Gates. Oh, what a fine pass, Brazil. Mariner far side. Well, when they play like this, there's a quality and a simplicity about Ipswich that's good to see. Gates and Brazil combining. Brazil curling it across. And Mariner's header, not this time on target. Referee still talking to the Middlesbrough wall, wanting them the full 10 yards. It's Muren, it's there. He can curl them, can't he? So, so simple. But if you want to call it a continental goal, Muren won't mind. The delay seemed endless before the kick was taken, but Mills moved away, and Muren made it look so so easy on because they've enjoyed watching him these last four years there goes brazil mariners herring into the center so is walk still brazil side netting john prags debating with his fellow defenders but at the moment they're being stretched first one side and then the other otto That's Thomas. That's a good effort. That's a splendid goal. Dave Thomas struck a beauty. Bobby Murdoch, the manager, out of the dugout. Thumbs up from the goal scorer. Strange that Dave Thomas, in his varied career, has always put goal scoring as his biggest weakness. And he produces one like that from way out, which flew away from Cooper and found the corner. And here's McCall. Just as Billy Ashcroft starts to warm up for Middlesbrough, his Gates. Nice turn. Oh, it ran on. Brazil just ducked slightly and it ran on, but nobody was coming in behind on Gates cross. And Brazil rightly applauding Gates. The chance to run on. Outside him, McAndrew. And Ashcroft gets a header in, and Paul Cooper makes a very good save. This is not uh, one of Ipswich's most impressive spells in the second half. The game is being very firmly taken to them by Middlesbrough. Side again, Mills. And they've got four waiting for Muren's cross. And that's Walk, and that's Baxter, and that's Gates. And that is Brazil! <laughs> Who says thank you very much, and the crowd are relieved. Gates played 
tried his part in the goal and smiles to himself. But when Buren crossed, Ipswich always had chances. Baxter got one header in, but when it broke, Brazil showed why he scored so many goals this season. The principal reason is he's so cool in finishing positions. So Ipswich, after an easy spell in the first part of the second half, clinching the points. Poor Mariner, obviously handicapped by the back injury, but the two managers shake hands. Bobby Robson reflecting maybe now that Ipswich have got a hope that Liverpool get beaten at Tottenham on Monday and open up the championship again for Ipswich. But for Bobby Murdoch, perhaps, Middlesbrough looking doomed to second division football next season and finding maybe this year that the loss of four key players at the end of last season was too much for the club to take. They had their moments today, particularly in terms of spirit in the second half, and that's probably what he's saying. But in the end, it was the man who was number 10, Alan Brazil, clinched the points, who saw his side come home by three goals.